Mattel just released these three Barbie signature dolls in celebration of Marvel's 80th anniversary. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Storm. First appearing in Giant Size X-Men number one in 1975, Storm was born in New York City but raised in Egypt. She was once married to Black Panther and her look has changed over the years. This is her classic style. On the back of the box, it says, Barbie celebrates the 80th anniversary of Marvel Comics with a tribute to the legendary female superhero, Storm. Born Aurora Monroe, Storm is one of the most powerful mutants on Earth. As a member of the X-Men team, she confounds enemies with her ability to manipulate weather and the atmosphere. Storm Barbie doll is as electrifying as the character she emulates. Here she is out of the box. She does come with a certificate of authenticity that establishes her as a Barbie signature gold label doll. And it indicated on the box that there are 20,000 worldwide. As you can see, she did come with a doll stand, the same as the doll stand that came with Mystique. And she looks awesome. Again, I love the face mold they chose for this doll. Her hair is her classic long white tresses. And there isn't a ton of product. It feels like there may be a little bit at the ends, but otherwise it's really in great shape coming out of the packaging. She has her classic black headpiece and she is wearing her original costume from the 70s where she has on a black bodysuit. It's kind of like a faux leather material with this silky cape with gold trim. She's got a red stone on the bodice. And then she has these thigh high black boots. Now they do not have a heel. They're not a wedge. They are a flat boot. Love the details of her costume. Here is the back of the cape. Uh, the cape is attached to her bodysuit. So the bodysuit Velcro's in the back and then you just have to carefully slip it off of her shoulders. And then it's got these very thin elastics that attach it to her wrist. She is also wearing these gold armbands, which I really, really like that detail. I'm glad they kept that. I do wanna point out that the entire outfit is removable, including the boots. However, I will not be taking them off. They have a little piece of double-sided tape on the inside to prevent them from slipping down at all, and I really don't wanna remove that. And I also wanna point out, without actually taking off the shoes, they have included a little bit of a toe here that extends her foot. By comparison, you can see that Mystique's foot is the standard little Barbie foot. Storm actually has the same foot, but then she has a toe piece here in her boot extending her foot, making it look larger than it actually is and quite frankly, more proportionate to her body. And if you didn't already check out the Mystique unboxing, I will link to it below in the description. Let's go over her articulation. She has movement at the neck, the shoulder. She has a made to move elbow, articulation at the wrist, the hip, and the made to move knee. And you can see it just, you can see now that double-sided tape. When you bend her knee, it does Kind of detach it from the double-sided tape a little bit. While Mystique and Storm have the same articulation, they have different hand molds. So Storm's hand is just with her fingers kind of straight out. She's not in a grip position, which I kind of actually like that more for her. She's not one to carry around a gun or a sword or anything like that, so it kind of makes more sense. She's just kind of flying around with her hands open, manipulating the weather. So I am loving this doll. I think she looks fantastic. I love that she has some decent articulation. Love her costume, love the execution. Really happy with this doll. And of course I am a pretty big classic X-Men fan. So I'm sure I'm a little biased, but what do you guys think? 
As usual, let me know by commenting below.